Saturday, January the 17th, as a prelude to the inauguration of not only the President of the United States of America, but the first African American President of the United States of America. The 44th President. Somebody had a dream, and now it is reality. Not just for me, not just for you, but for our children's children and children's children to come. Give it up for President-elect Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. Father, I thank you that you've even given us the opportunity to see such a time as this. We don't count it as a small thing, God, how you have the ability to shake up the nation. Now, God, we come to celebrate the move of the nation, the move that you've done in Washington, God, but not only that, we come to celebrate the potential that we have to make a move in 2009. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the heart. long so make sure you relax you enjoy you have fun and that you dig deep get out of your box and don't forget the directions on how to get out of the box are on the outside of the box so we're asking that you step outside yourself and do something different tonight what do you think pat that's pretty profound when's the last time you got dressed up when is the last time you got dressed up put a little lipstick on <laughs> Ladies, don't you feel good when you dress up? Get your hair and nails done. Get your toes. I see some of the men got their toes done, too. At least that's what they say. Hear ye, hear ye. Clearly we be near he and we fear he, yet we merely and sincerely move the mount. Faith and patience equals enough failures to lose the count. So mount up with the wings of an eagle, courtesy of the king of the people, worry down the two genes that are lethal. So stop worrying about what can you get. And stop acting like you've done, like a plan to quit. Life may be complex, more pain than fun, but you can handle it. Keep your candle lit. Search for instructions, read the holy manuscript. Man, you can spit. Thanks, Doc. Life might be fast, but not too quick for me to forget to thank y'all. All right, now that we got this microphone warmed up, my name is Eyewitness Life. Uh, what I do is spoken word. All right, thank you. Let me just say, let me take a quick couple minutes out to say, wow, fellas, you all look very presidential. 
Women, I cannot leave you out. You're looking very first lady-like. As we begin to make change, don't forget our youth. I'm the youth commissioner for the city of Dayton. And one of my jobs is to bring service learning opportunities for those uh, youth who are considered to be in high risk situations. See, somebody had to look back and help us out and help us to get to the point where we are. So as we begin this change, again, on a national level, that's the theoretical framework. But the practitional framework comes when we begin to make change within our own communities and help our own youth. So what needs to happen is that we have to take this challenge. So I'm challenging you right now as young professionals. As we celebrate the election of Barack Obama, to also remember all of the sacrifices that Martin Luther King Jr. made for that historic moment on Tuesday. This past Thursday, Martin Luther King Jr. would have been 80 years old. So let us remember that and celebrate both of these great men. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening.